Decimus or Decimius Magnus Osinus, c. 310 c. 395 was a Roman poet and teacher of rhetoric from Bertigala in Aquitaine, modern Bordeaux, France. For a time he was tutor to the future emperor Gratian, who afterwards bestowed the consulship on him. His best known poems are Macella, a description of the river Moselle, and Ephemeris, an account of a typical day in his life. His many other verses show his concern for his family, friends, teachers, and circle of well-to-do acquaintances and his delight in the technical handling of meter. Biography Decimius Magnus Osinus was born c. 310 in Bertigala, the son of Julius Osinus c. AD 290-378, a physician of Greek ancestry, and Aemilia Aeonia, daughter of Cecilius Argicius Arborius, descended on both sides from established, land-owning Gallo-Roman families of southwestern Gaul. Osinus was given a strict upbringing by his aunt and grandmother, both named Aemilia. He received an excellent education at Bordeaux and at Toulouse, where his maternal uncle, Aemilius Magnus Arborius, was a professor. Osinus did well in grammar and rhetoric, but professed that his progress in Greek was unsatisfactory. When his uncle was summoned to Constantinople to tutor one of the sons of Emperor Constantine I, Osinus accompanied him to the capital. Having completed his studies, he trained for some time as an advocate, but he preferred teaching. In 334 he became a grammaticus instructor at a school of rhetoric in Bordeaux, and afterwards a reader or professor. His teaching attracted many pupils, some of whom became eminent in public life. His most famous pupil was the poet Paulinus, who later became a Christian and bishop of Nola. After thirty years of this work Osinus was summoned by Emperor Valentinian I to teach his son, Gratian, the heir apparent. When Valentinian took Gratian on the German campaigns of 368-9, Osinus accompanied them. In recognition of his services Emperor Valentinian bestowed on Osinus the rank of quaestor. Gratian liked and respected his tutor, and when he himself became emperor in 375 he began bestowing on Osinus and his family the highest civil honors. That year Osinus was made Praetorian Prefect of Gaul, campaigned against the Alemanni and received as part of his booty a slave girl, Bissola, to whom he addressed a poem, while his father, though nearly ninety years old, was given the rank of Prefect of Illyricum. In 376 Osinus's son, Hesperius, was made Proconsul of Africa. In 379 Osinus was awarded the consulate, the highest Roman honor. In 383 the army of Britain, led by Magnus Maximus, revolted against Gratian and assassinated him at Lyons, and when Emperor Valentinian II was driven out of Italy, Osinus retired to his estates near Bertigala now Bordeaux, in Gaul. When Magnus Maximus was overthrown by Emperor Theodosius I in 388, Osinus did not leave his country estates. They were, he says, his night as Senectutus, the nest of his old age, and there he spent the rest of his days, composing poetry and writing to many eminent contemporaries, several of whom had been his pupils. His estates supposedly included the land now owned by Chateau Auson, which takes its name from him. Osinus appears to have been a late and perhaps not very enthusiastic convert to Christianity. He died about 395. His grandson, Paulinus of Pella, was also a poet. His works attest to the devastation which Osinus's Gaul would face soon after his death. Topic: <laughs> List of his works. Epigrammata de diversis rebus. About 120 epigrams on various topics. Ephemeris. A description of the occupations of the day from morning till evening, in various meters, composed before 367. Only the beginning and end are preserved. Parentalia. Thirty poems of various lengths, mostly in elegiac meter, on deceased relations, composed after his consulate, when he had already been a widower for 36 years. Commemoratio professorum Bertigalensium or professors. A continuation of the Parentalia, dealing with the famous teachers of his native Bordeaux whom he had known. Epitaphia. Twenty-six epitaphs of heroes from the Trojan War, translated from Greek Caesars. On the twelve emperors described by Suetonius. Ordo Urbium Nobilium. Fourteen pieces, dealing with seventeen towns Rome to Bordeaux, in hexameters, and composed after the downfall of Maximus in 388. Ludus Seven Sapientium. 
a kind of puppet play in which the seven wise men appear successively and have their say. The so-called Idolia. Twenty pieces are grouped under this arbitrary title, the most famous of which is the Macella. It also includes Griffis Ternary Numeri De Itatibus Hesiodon Monosticha de Aramnus Hercules De Ambiguitate Elegende Vitae De Viro Bono Est et non De Rossi's Nascentibus Dubius Versus Pascals Episidion in Patrim Technopagnon Cento nuptialis, composed of lines and half lines of Virgil. Bissola Protrepticus Genethliacon Eglogarum Liber. A collection of all kinds of astronomical and astrological versifications in epic and elegiac meter. Epistolarum Liber. 25 verse letters in various meters. Ad Gratianum Gratiarum Actio Pro Consulatu. Prose speech of thanks to the Emperor Gratian on the occasion of attaining the consulship, delivered at Treves in 379. Periashi Homeri Iliadis et Odysseae. A prose summary of Homer's Iliad and Odyssey, attributed to but probably not written by Osinus. Prefatiunculi. Prefaces by the poet to various collections of his poems, including a response to the Emperor Theodosius I's request for his poems. Some characteristics of his works Although admired by his contemporaries, the writings of Osinus have not since been ranked among Latin literature's finest. His style is easy and fluent, and his Macella is appreciated for its evocation of the life and country along the river Moselle, but he is considered derivative and unoriginal. Edward Gibbon pronounced in his Decline and Fall of the Roman Empire that, The poetical fame of Osinus condemns the taste of his age. However, his works have several points of interest. 1. He is frequently cited by historians of winemaking, as his works give early evidence of large-scale viticulture in the now famous wine country around his native Bordeaux. 2. His contribution to the Carpe Diem topic is also widely known. 3. His unique Cento Nuptialis translated as a nuptial Cento by H.G. Evelyn White for Loeb Classical Library, in which he extracts phrases from Virgil and reapplies them to a nuptial consummation. Topic. Saw Mill His writings are also remarkable for mentioning, in passing, the working of a water mill sawing marble on a tributary of the Moselle. Renowned as Selbus for glorious fish, and that other, as he turns his millstones in furious revolutions and drives the shrieking saws through smooth blocks of marble, hears from either bank a ceaseless din. The excerpt sheds new light on the development of Roman technology in using water power for different applications. It is one of the rare references in Roman literature of water mills used to cut stone, but as a logical consequence of the application of water power to mechanical sawing of stone and presumably wood also. Earlier references to the widespread use of mills occur in Vitruvius in his De Architectura of circa 25 BC, and the Naturalis Historia of Pliny the Elder published in 77 AD. Such applications of mills were to multiply again after the fall of the empire through the Middle Ages into the modern era. The mills at Barbagal in southern France are famous for their application of water power to grinding grain to make flour and were built in the 1st century AD. They consisted of 16 mills in a parallel sequence on a hill near Arles. The construction of a saw mill is even simpler than a flour or grinding mill, since no gearing is needed, and the rotary saw blade can be driven direct from the water wheel axle, as the example of Sutter's Mill in California shows. However, a different mechanism is shown by the sawmill at Hierapolis involving a frame saw operated through a crank and connecting rod. See also. Aemilius Magnus Arborius Ausones, Ausonia Chateau Auson French wine List of wine personalities Roman aqueducts Roman engineering Roman technology Watermills Topic. Notes Topic. References 
Riti, Tullia, Gru, Klaus, Kessener, Paul. 2007. A relief of a water powered stone saw mill on a sarcophagus at Hierapolis and its implications. Journal of Roman Archaeology, 20 138 163. This article incorporates text from a publication now in the public domain, Chisholm, Hugh, ed. 1911. Osinus, Decimus Magnus. Encyclopædia Britannica, 2, 11th ed. Cambridge University Press. pp. 935 to 936. Baines, T. S. ed. 1875 to 1889. Decimus Magnus Osinus. Encyclopædia Britannica, 9th ed. New York, Charles Scribner's Sons. Topic. Further reading. Booth, Alan D. 1982. The Academic Career of Osinus. Phoenix 36-329-343. Brown, Peter, 2014. In Through the Eye of a Needle, Wealth, the Fall of Rome, and the Making of Christianity in the West, 350-550 AD Princeton, Princeton University Press, 185-207. Della Corte, Francesco, 1977. Bissola, Romano Barbarica 217-25. Dill, Samuel, 1898. The Society of Aquitaine in the Time of Osinus. In Roman Society in the Last Century of the Western Empire. London, Macmillan, 167-186. Green, R. P. H. 1999. Osinius's Fasti and Caesars Revisited. Classical Quarterly 49 to 573 minus 578. K. N. M. 2001. Osinus, Epigrams. London: Duckworth. Knight, Gillian R. 2005. Friendship and Erotics in the Late Antique Verse Epistle. Osinus to Paulinus Revisited. Rheinisches Museum 148 to 361 minus 403. Shanzer, Danuta. 1998. The Date and Literary Context of Osinus's Macella, Valentinian I's Alemannic Campaigns and an Unnamed Office Holder. Historia 47.2, 204-233. Sivan, Haggith, 1993. Osinus of Bordeaux, Genesis of a Gallic Aristocracy. London and New York, Routledge. Sivan, Haggith, 1992. The Dedicatory Presentation in Late Antiquity, The Example of Osinus. Illinois Classical Studies 17.1, 83-101. Sowers, Brian P. 2016. Amicitia and Late Antique Nugae, Reading Osinius's Reading Community. American Journal of Philology, 137.3, 511-540. Taylor, Rabin, 2009. Death, the Maiden, and the Mirror, Osinus's Water World. Arethusa 42. 2-181-205 Topic. External links Decimus Magnus Osinus at Encyclopædia Britannica Works by Osinus at Perseus Digital Library Works by Osinus at the Internet Archive Latin text of Macella Osinius's Opera Omnia, Intratext Digital Library Opera Omnia by Minya Petrologia Latina Wiki text and translation of Moselle Wikipedia France, Auson, Vie et Travaux Osinius at Somni